Okay, year four, welcome back to our art lesson. This week we are going to be thinking about Children's Mental Health Awareness Week. So we're going to be doing a piece of art, thinking all about the things that we love and appreciate and things that are able to make us happy when we're feeling down. You're going to need a piece of plain paper, a ruler, pencil, a black pen, and you will need some colouring pencils or pens or whatever you have available to you. The first thing that you're going to do, and you want to take up most of the page with this, is to draw a big love heart, as big as you possibly can. So I'm just going to mark out where I want it to be. But you do need to have some room to write around the edge. So I'm just going to do one like that. And then I'm going to do my other side. So you end up with a big heart shape in the middle of your page. And then going in with your ruler, I want you to mark out some different shapes. You want to have at least 15 is what I would mark out. So I'm just going to go in and start marking out some different shapes inside that love heart. Making sure that none of them overlap so that I can use them as boxes in a little while. So now that I've got my 15 boxes marked out, I'm going to think of the 15 things that make me happy and the 15 things that I appreciate. So I might think about something that I really love and that is my hamster. So I'm going to put my hamster in one of the boxes. So I'm just really lightly going to go in, draw my hamster with his little feet, put his little head on, his ears. And that's all I'm going to do for the moment. I'm just going to get those boxes filled with the things that I love. So I've got my hamster in one box. In one of my other boxes, it doesn't matter what order you fill them up in, I'm going to draw a picture of my family. So I'm going to draw my dad, my mum, and I have a stepdad as well. Okay, so in another box I've got my family. In another box I might draw you guys because I love and appreciate you guys. You guys make me happy. So I'm going to draw a box. I might just draw 29 little faces instead of drawing all the bodies so I'm just going to put in all my circles and then I can go back in and add the details onto their faces so I have you I might also have some of my favourite foods my favourite foods are something that I love and they make me happy so I'm going to draw myself a big cheeseburger in one of them because I do love my cheeseburgers so I've got a cheeseburger in one of my boxes with the lettuce as well there we are, so I've got a nice burger in there. Your aim is to fill up all of these boxes with lots of different things that you love, appreciate, and the things that make you happy. So the things that make you happy when you're not feeling your best, the things that might cheer you up. So it might be you have a favourite film to watch and you can put your favourite film in there. You might have some snacks that you choose to eat and you can draw those in. It might be your friends. It might be the adults in your life. You can draw whatever you like in these boxes as long as you make sure that they are all filled. So that's what I'm going to go and do now. Okay, so once you've got all of your boxes filled up like this, now you want to go in and colour them. And you want to make sure there are no gaps in the whole of your love heart. So you want all those backgrounds to be coloured in, all those faces to be coloured in. Any extra things that you have added on there, they all need to be coloured in. So I might go in and do my backgrounds first. So for this down here, I've got some sea, so I'm just going to colour in my sea blue. And then I'm going to go in with my sand and make sure that that is yellow. Try and keep it as neat as you can, because I'd really like to put some of these up on display when we come back to school, if you can keep hold of them. Then we can have like a proud wall of all the things that make us happy. So the next step is to go in and make sure that everything is coloured in with no white spaces. Make sure you try and keep it to your neatest colouring that you can possibly do. Okay, so once you've got it all drawn and all coloured in, a bit like what mine is right now, so I've got it all coloured, there's no white on my page now, you're going to go in with your black pen and you're just going to go around the edge of your love heart, trying to go over that pencil line that you've drawn already, just to really make it stand out. You will be needing to go on the inside. I've used all of mine in pencil today so that this black line really stands out. So I've just gone round my love heart like so. And at some point I will go back in and go over all of these lines to really make them stand out. 
But for now, I'm not going to do that because for now we're going to be writing around the edge about all of the things that do make us happy. So I'm going to do mine by writing my words in the same colour that I've done the background to that box. So if I start with my green, I'm going to go around the edge and just with a light arrow, I'm just going to come out. I'm not going to draw my arrow in my colour. I'll draw my arrow in black or in a pencil. So I'm just going to draw my arrow off and I'm going to write what the thing is and why it makes me happy. You're going to do that for all of the things that you have done. So on mine, I've got my boyfriend, my favourite food, my favourite TV show, my favourite game to play, my family, my Nintendo Switch, my favourite football club, Disney, because you all know that I love Disney, my brother and sister, dogs, because I love dogs, a box of Maltesers, art and painting, books, my hamster, and all of you guys. I've got drawn all of you in there as well. So we're going to go around the edge, annotating what all of the things are inside your love heart and the reason why they make you happy. Okay, so you should end up with something which looks a little bit like this. So I now have all my arrows going around the edge, annotating everything off, saying what everything is and why it makes me happy. Now we can go back in and with your black pen, I might actually do mine with a slightly thinner black pen, like a biro. I'm going to go over all of those lines that I made at the start just to really make them stand out. Okay, now mine's got all of its lines on it and it's all annotated. That is what your final piece should look like. So I will show you a clearer version in a moment. But it should be completely filled with colour and all of your favourite things, the things you love, the things that make you happy and the things that you appreciate around the edge. Try and do at least 15 things. You might be able to fit more in if you've got more, but try and aim for at least 15 as your starting point. Remember, I don't just want one word around the edge like, like around the edge like switch, games. You should explain why it makes you happy. So I've put things help me to relax or they're my favorite or they make me smile. So they're the sorts of things that you need to include. Please try and keep hold of your finished pieces so that I can put them on display when we do return to school. And I hope you enjoy this piece of work. Once you have finished and you've uploaded everything and you think it's the neatest part of your work you can possibly do, please go and check any pinks that you've got or look at your Europe home learning assignment as it is due in next Friday. Have a lovely afternoon doing your artwork and I'll see you at 2.40 for our story time.